In this video, we're going to show you how to edit the information about individual tracks on iTunes. This video was made using iTunes 12. If you have an earlier version of iTunes, not all of this information may apply to your software. In the same vein, if you're from the future and you're using a later version, some of this information may be outdated. The amount of differences between versions will vary depending on how far off your version is from iTunes 12. Please check your iTunes drop-down menu and select About iTunes to see if this video will be relevant to your version. If you want to know more about how to navigate iTunes 12, we've also made a video for that and you can click this card or the link in the description to see it. First, open the iTunes application and navigate to the Library tab. We're going to look primarily at tracks listed in the music portion of iTunes, but we will get to the other kinds of audio files later. Within the library, you can view your music in several different listings, most recently added, grouped by artist, album, or genre, or listed as individual songs. Find the song that you want to edit, either by scrolling through one of the listings or by using the search bar. Highlight the song that you want to edit and right-click or control-click it. From the menu that appears, choose Get Info. This is what you want to use to edit almost anything about a particular song. Once you've selected Get Info, a new window will appear, with the album cover and song, artist, and album at the top, followed by several different tabs and a mess of places to enter information into, including text boxes, drop-down menus, checkboxes, and more. Let's break it all down. The majority of aspects of a song's information that can actually be edited will be under the Details tab. Here, you can edit the song title, the name of the artist that made the song, the name of the album the song is on, the name of the artist or artists that released the album, and the legal names of the songwriters or composers. Any of these can be edited freely. You can add subtitles, parentheticals, you could even change the credits completely if you wanted to. Just remember that these boxes determine what will show up when you're searching for the song later. To choose to show the composer in all views just means that in any listing except for songs, the name of the songwriter will appear under each song of the album in question. Continuing on, next you will see Grouping, where you can enter the names of the artists in the band or group. You can then choose the genre of the song from a drop-down menu. You can't enter your own genre here, but you can if you instead view the song from the songs listing and then click once on that song's genre. Anything you enter there will thereafter appear as an option in the Get Info drop-down menu for any song. You can then edit the year the song came out, reorganize the order in which the track or disc of the album appears, mark the album as a compilation album by multiple people rate the song, love the song, enter the beats per minute which can be helpful for many athletes, view or reset your play count of the song, or enter comments about the song. To save any changes you've made, click OK at the bottom. The whole Get Info window will disappear, but rest assured, whatever you've edited will be saved. To change the album artwork, click on the Artwork tab. If you already have artwork for the song, it will appear here. If not, it will look pretty empty. To add artwork, just click Add Artwork, and then select an image from your own computer files that you want to appear. Apple also hosts their own database of artwork for most popular albums. To immediately access this, make sure the album title of the song is correct, and then right-click or control-click in the center of the Artwork tab. Click Get Album Artwork, and if Apple has it, they will provide artwork for the song and it will be saved and downloaded for your library. You can use the Lyrics tab to view the lyrics provided for the song you bought, or if none were provided, you can check the box at the bottom and then edit your own. Choose the Options tab, and you'll be able to change the kind of media the track is listed as from the first drop-down menu. 
The available options are music, podcast, iTunes U, audiobook, and voice memo. Change this and the track will now appear in the portion of iTunes that you selected. The Options tab also allows you to edit when the track will start or stop, as well as whether it will start where you left off if you leave the track and then come back to it. You can then tell iTunes to skip the song when your software is in shuffle mode, increase or decrease the maximum volume of the song, and add an adjusting filter or equalizer to your song. The Sorting tab allows you to sort a song by a different title, album title, or artist name. You can change these options in order to change what search terms you can enter into iTunes in order to find the song, or where in a music listing you will find the song without actually changing the information that appears. The File tab can't be directly edited. It is just a description of the aspects of the file. Here, you can see what kind of file it is, how large it is, how clear it sounds, where it is stored on your computer, and any copyright information associated with it. That is the information you can edit for songs under the music portion of iTunes. For different kinds of files in iTunes, the information you can edit will be different, but you edit the info in the same way, by right or control clicking the file and selecting Get Info. There you have it. That's how to enter information about tracks on iTunes. Give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you, and subscribe to our channel for more instructional videos and other great content. If you have any more questions specifically about your underwater audio iPod shuffle or other underwater audio products, please check out our other uploaded tutorial videos or call or email our customer service team.